What a plot twist indeed. Origami's flashback wasn't what it seemed like. It was actually future Origami as a spirit killing her own parents because she wanted to save her parents. What a twisted fate. And the thing about fate or destiny is that it's already fixed in place. So back in the past, you know, Origami was never a spirit, but because inevitably in the future that she would become a spirit and have the desire to save her parents, she'd come back and then get baited by Phantom and then she would kill her parents. It's just, it's just a loop, right? But what if someone could change it? And I believe Kurumi thinks that Shido actually can change it. I love how Kurumi is just like, you know what? I spent three seasons stockpiling up spiritual energy so that I can use Yield Bet to do my own thing. But I'm gonna take a little detour. I'm gonna use guy. I mean, I'm gonna use you guys as test rats so that let's see if things can actually work. She mentioned specifically about an entity known as Gods. Is Phantom a god? I don't really know. I thought that was kind of interesting. Shido obviously is so special. There's something so special about him. The fact that he can steal spirits and whatnot. I'm sure he will be the one that'll save Origami from this infinite loop of despair. Now, does this mean that Origami's parents can be saved? Because the idea is that Shido goes back, prevents Origami from killing her own parents, and then the inverted spirit in the future will no longer be an inverted spirit, I think is the idea, but doesn't that kind of mean that there's two outcomes? Either we actually save Bodhigami's parents so they, they, they just exist in the future, or someone else has to kill the parents? Like, I, I don't fucking know, somehow. I don't know. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, and you guys also told me the fact that Kunmi can, you know, talk to a different timeline is or like 10th bullet, Ted? I mean, I'm gonna just assume that history can be changed because this is the main character and this is the only way of resolving this current conflict, right? So what's he gonna do? Maybe Shido will be the one that kills Origami's parents instead. I don't fucking know. Oh, also, if Shido actually does save Origami's parents, then that kind of does explain why Origami has such a devoted loyalty and love for Shido because that still hasn't really been explained. The episode's called Tango City five years ago. I love it. Kotori, how could you? Phantom. Phantom. Who are you, Phantom? Why does your hair kind of look like Ellen's? Origami. Do we only have one chance at this? Can we repeat it again with Kurumi? So the best way to resolve this is just to kiss Origami right now and get rid of her power, right? But hey, no, no, it's, it's not yet. Cause there was like an actual big move that I think shot down and killed the parents. How? We can't fly? Parents. Uh-oh. We know how this is gonna happen. Yo, a laser's about to shoot down any moment now. Careful now. There it is. It's too late. We can't... We might have to redo this again. <laughs> you should be laughing. <laughs> they got yeeted. Bro! They're dead. What do you mean? What about them? Ay uh, I Oh my god. <laughs> Inverted the. Does that mean we gotta repeat? We can retry again, right? Surely this isn't a one time thing. What have you done, Origami? You killed your own parents, Origami! How could you? But she looks above and it's the spitting image of herself. And then inversion or just disappears? Huh? Disappear? What? Oh, right, right, right. This is weird because this is double yod bet, right? Um. Can we do something with the current Origami right now to be like, hey, it's gonna be fine. You know, your parents might have died, but... What? Was this... But... No, oh, wait, 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 wait. This is after he saved her, but in the past, who would have saved her? Who would have saved her in the past? Would that ever have happened if... Maybe this is why Origami has an such... Uh, like, um, devoted love towards Shido? Does she even know who he is? I don't think so right now, right? No shot. Talk no jutsu is gonna be enough to save Origami right now. You can't just tell a girl to cheer up after her parents died and then fix the future. No. How do we explain this? It's Shido. And this is their first meeting. Yeah, everything's gonna be fine. Last time I cry. I don't think that's a good thing. I don't know. Uh, have we actually ever seen her smile? Sadness, happiness, and I give them to you. Aww. 
The kids should not be talking like this, man. But this is an infinite loop. This is an infinite loop? No! We... Kurumi, can we do a repeat, please? Oh, someone new? Who's here? Who's there? Hey, you fucking blew it! <laughs> I ain't gonna lie! He fucking wasted this chance! It all because of my angel Zafki. Technically true, because the fact that she could time travel is what kind of caused all of this, so... Huh? Come on, one more time. One more time. Someone has just entrusted me with the way to change all... What, who? What? what this, the person that just showed up? By you 10 minutes in the... Ten, that was Shido from the future that showed up just in the moment where... Huh? He already returned from the past. Uh, I, I, uh, time, time, time travel is so confusing, man. But we got another shot. We got, we got another shot. That's the, that's the main point. Damn. Shido and Kurumi teaming up like this. What a dynamic duo. The sequence of events. Well, now you know, you know, Origami is going to start doing shit, laser beam to parents, and then kill. So if we just evacuate them? Uh, what? Impossible. But you know the sequence of events, so you could just tell him too if he forgets. Rooftop. Kurumi of the past? Oh, this is Kurumiception! What? Whoa, such a different design too! Eye patch! Your husband. Hello. So, and, and then what? what, what uh, how is this going to work? So, how do we use Kurumi from five years ago to help us? Can we maybe... Uh, that Kurumi will then shoot this Shido back to the past again and then he'll retain the memories and continue? I, I don't know, man. Oh, okay. Okay, so another one. So... <laughs> how are you going to convince her to use Yodbet? Hey, relax, relax. With your powers. Use your bet on me again. Waste all your stockpiled energy on me. Come on. Obviously, Kurumi, that's, you know, talking with Shido can't talk to this Kurumi, right? Contact. Kiss, 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 kiss. Contact? What, what do you mean, contact? If we mean contact, maybe the future Kurumi can talk to this Kurumi? Oh, okay, that, that does work then. Damn, this five years ago Kurumi design is so good. Is she a little shorter too? Maybe it's the lack of the twin tails? No, it's about the same height. Bro, we're spamming the shit out of Yodbet. This is, uh... Wait, we used one on Origami, we used one on Shido, and now the past Kurumi is gonna use another one? Jeez. Oh, this is a new soundtrack, I think, right? For Kurumi? Here we go, one more time. Third time's a charm, right, guys? <laughs> and we're back. Wake up, bro. We don't got time. Go, 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 go. Evacuate the parents. No, no time to fuck around with the teacher. No, no, no. It's simple. Just go to where Origami parents will be and just fucking move them. Mo literally move them a block. Like, what do you mean? Wait, doesn't that imply that's the f that the like, parents already died then? Yeah, 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 what the fuck? Like they need to be alive, but I feel like that's I don't know. So maybe she knows she'd be the one that kills the parents, bro. It's a fucked up way, but hey, that's at least one solution. Make it such that the phantom kills the. Does the parents have to die? Assuming that she ha they have to die, then just. Phantom kill, and then we're like, hey, Origami, look up there. That blurry thing, it's a phantom. You need to work with me in the future to kill them and get revenge. Yeah, you shouldn't be stuck. She's not even 13 right now, bro. That's like eight years old, bro. What the fuck? This is eight year old, bro. What's she doing? She's just chilling here? 
Phantom. Why? She just the phantom just appears in front of Kotori in a random day. It's like, hey, you want Ifrit? free? Okay. Hmm. Kotori, you shouldn't be taking candy from strangers. Here we go. One more time. What is Shido doing? Why is he not going to save the parents immediately? What's his plan? You're gonna tackle the phantom? Hey, phantom, hello! You. Because she knows him. She's gotta be that voice that was talking in season 1, episode 1 when he woke up before Reine. She's so scared of him? Why? Yeah, that's crazy. What? Yeah, she's a, she is a walking mosaic. Like, how the fuck are we supposed to figure that out? So we just chased the phantom. Rather than going for Odiyami's parents. Okay. Yeah, how much does Kurumi know about phantom? We might get some really important plot stuff here. What? Pink hair girl. Okay, the hair design is totally different from Ellen now. Oh. Don't tell me! I've been waiting for three fucking seasons! What? Is this some kind of memory loss too? Cause like, Shido forgot a lot of shit in the past, right? Who are you? And like, she just gives crystals to everybody to turn to spirits? And how do you, how do you know all this? I just... Can we even? I wonder what sco high school uniform this is. Like, like what? Like, killing Origami's parents? Wait, what just happened? He's like frozen. Nostalgic. Do you remember from the past? Memory loss, maybe? When? Season 5? I don't got that to wait! This is the exact same thing she said. She said this in season 1. Bye. Man, that that caricature mosaic, like that long hair is such a bait. She did not have that hair at all. Then again, she's a temporary form. Does that mean that the mosaic is a temporary form? Was that the pink haired girl the temporary form? I don't know. But clearly, he has some ties with her in the past that he's probably forgotten due to... I don't know, man. She's gonna- parents gonna die. Bro, are you fucking serious, bro? Are, are you serious, bro? We're gonna have to go to Kurumi again ask for a fourth, you old bet. Oh, this is a new soundtrack. Parents. Bro, just tackle them out of the way! Move them! Just move them a little bit! Summon Sandalphone and fucking stop the beam attack? I don't know! Use Natsumi's powers to make the beam into some cartoon shit. <laughs> but then Shido gets hit by this. He'll be fine probably, right? Kamael's still around. Kamael's still around! We know our boy isn't dying now, but holy shit. And he's back. Which timeline is this? Why did you wake up in your own bed? Lost contact with Kurumi, meaning this is probably the present timeline then? I don't know, but I'm gonna assume yes because we yeeted the parents away. I wonder which timeline we're in right now. Because, like, why would he just wake up in bed? Kurumi is no longer talking to, you know, he, uh, Shido through Tet, so I'm gonna assume it's not the past anymore, but at the same time, Maybe if we solve everything in the past, then the entire attack from, you know, inverted origami is no longer happening, therefore everything is resolved, but something feels a bit odd. I can't believe we used Yopet three times, five years ago, Kurumi. That design is amazing. The funniest part of the episode, definitely how he fucking yeeted the parents, just pushed them like, get the fuck out of here. It saved them, and I'm sure everything's gonna be fine now. Hopefully. Now, that girl though, that girl, the phantom, pink hair girl. She has the same school emblem. Uh, maybe it's just like a attention to detail that I don't need to really nitpick, but who is this girl? Same thing kind of happened with Mana in season one, where it's like, oh, by the way, I'm your blood related sister. Did you forget about everything? Oh, yeah, I remember we lost our memories so conveniently in the past. This girl has to be from the past. What is she about? Why does she already know Shido from the past? We know that Shido is so special, he can steal spirits, but after that, we don't really know exactly why. This girl is literally giving spirits their powers through the Sephiroth crystals. Now, 
Another thing I'm really confused about is the naming scheme again. Toka is the only spirit that we actually named because I'm gonna assume that Toka was always a spirit. Unless she also lost her memories and, you know, a human turned into a spirit and lost her memories, something like that. But if you pay attention, all the different spirits we've never named again. This could be just like a little inconsistency in detail that they, they just dropped in season one that I don't have to nitpick. But something about that felt just so off because now we know how human can turn into spirits by the Sephiroth crystal. I don't know, man. So many questions, but we got, we got some answers. We got some answers, but hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for even more content. Until next time, take care.